Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In this week's Parsha, Moshe recounts the places where the Jews stopped throughout their journey in the desert, after which they would finally reach Eretz Yisrael. In anticipation of this, we will make a Map of Israel keychain. Here are the supplies we will need. 15 colors of Fimo clay, a rolling pin, an X-Acto knife or razor, a keychain ring, one to two paper clips, parchment paper, the printed map template, and a sheet protector. Let's begin. Slip the template into a sheet protector to use it as a guide. Looking at the key, take out the colors of Fimo that you'll need, or you can adjust the colors as you would like. As we mentioned, in Parshas Masse, Moshe enumerated every single place where the Jews stopped in the desert. Why did he need to go through and mention every single one of the 42 stops? Starting with blue Fimo, carefully fill in the water line. Create small dots for the seas and a thin line for the rest. Use a paper clip to help shift the clay to the right place. To answer our question, imagine you're going on a cross-country road trip with your family. After driving for about five hours, your baby sister wakes up and starts to cry. It's time to stop for your mother to feed her, and the rest of you can stretch your legs. After continuing on the road for some time, the gas gauge lights up, signaling it's time to stop to fill up on gas. Throughout the journey, your family needs to stop a few more times. Next, use black Fimo and carefully line the borders marked with black lines thicker than the rest, which is where Israel is today. Any sections within the borders that are not assigned to a specific Shevet can be filled with black clay as well. Back to our road trip. Despite all the stops, you keep reminding yourself that every stop is important. Each one takes you in the right direction and ultimately brings you closer to your destination. This idea is at the heart of the answer to our question, which we'll flesh out soon. Fill in the rest of the map and fill each Shevet's land with the corresponding color. If you don't have a color on the key, switch it out for a different one, but make sure to correct the key so that you'll know which color is which Shevet. Again, use a paper clip to get to the harder to reach areas and carefully shift the clay until the entire area is covered. Moshe could have encapsulated the Jews' 42 journeys in one sentence. He could have said, we stopped at 42 places. Instead, he painstakingly wrote down every single stop. For example, they traveled from Ramses and camped in Sukkos. They traveled from Sukkos and camped in Asam. He was conveying to the Jews that every stop was important. Each stop was one step farther from the confines of Egypt and much closer to Eretz Yisrael. This is a message of encouragement to us about our own Egypt, which is the place we're in when we listen to our Yetzir Hara. We may feel that we are not capable of totally crushing our Yetzir Hara and doing the right thing all the time, but Moshe Rabbeinu comes to tell us even one small step in the right direction is leaving Egypt and taking a step away from your Yetzir Hara. One positive act makes all the difference. Every right choice, no matter how small, has an important impact and brings us closer to our final destination of Mashiach. What small, positive action can you add today that you did not do yesterday? Once the map is complete, take a color of Fimo you have not yet used and roll out a thick layer with a rolling pin. Lay the flat piece over the entire map. Roll over it with a rolling pin so the map sticks onto the flat piece. Carefully lift it, turn it over, and ensure the entire map is stuck onto the flat background. You may have noticed that only once you flip the map over are all the seas and territories in the correct place, since the template is a mirror image of the map. Use a paper clip to fix any parts that are not in place or moved a bit, then roll over it once or twice to ensure it is mostly even and well attached to the background. There will be a lot of unnecessary space around the map. For this reason, use an X-Acto knife or razor to trim off however much you think looks nice. Make sure there is an adult around to help you with this step, since the blade of this knife is extremely sharp. By the way, one last fun fact before we finish off. Do you know that the word Masse means travels? Next time you hear someone mention the name of this Parsha, you can remember that and think of the lesson we spoke about today. Remember that your one small good action helps us travel one step closer to Mashiach. And for the last step before we bake the map, punch a small hole at the top with a paper clip, then lay it on a piece of parchment paper and bake it in the oven at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 30 to 35 minutes. Let it cool completely, then attach it to a keychain and that's a wrap. 
Enjoy your keychain. Have a great week. We hope you'll like and subscribe, and we can't wait to see you next week at our Parsha studio. Bye.